No, it's a funny story. Of all the jobs I've had and moved, Kaiser Esco is the only job that I've taken with an increase in pay. From what I was earning in Ackerman, I got more money in Kaiser Esco. Every job after that, I, I took a pay cut to make the move. Yeah, so what, what's a, 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 a distinct memory from uh, your, your season's coaching? Well, I'll tell you what, the first thing about Kaiser Esco was Coach Nestor and I came there to do the spring practice, and we noticed what kind of athletes they had. And we noticed how we were in Ackerman able to win in the same conference, Kaiser Esco. We were at 92, they were 5-5, five and five, I believe. Then I remember eating at Coleman's Barbecue and talking about it. I thought we had some pretty good players there. Coach, Coach Nestor agreed, and we really had some good football team those first two years there. We had a good football team the second year, not quite as successful. Then I got to be head coach. And winning that first championship, I guess, and winning in overtime was one of the big highlights. We had a great season, I think, 9-2 that year. Went in the Mississippi Bowl. Really brought a lot of press, a lot of notoriety to the to the Whippets. And I tell you what, you go everywhere. Kaiser is a unique name, and the Whippets is a unique name. The passion of, for football there was just unbelievable. On Friday nights, how people would come out to the games, and it was a talk of the of everybody, the whole community during the week, building up to it. And it was just a shame that we didn't have state championships back in those years in the 70s. I know one guy mentioned to me when I was at the coaching convention this about three weeks ago, he said, uh, we're looking back in the 70s, Kaziesco probably was like South Panola was in the 90s and early 2000s, how they just dominated the whole state of football because Guys, just go to that time, probably had as good a record as anybody in the state, and they were ranked high in the state every year. It's been a lot of fun this weekend, and um, <clears throat> just to get to represent the whole state, something you dream about, you know, growing up. Um, you never think you're going to be in this situation. You always just go out there and kind of play the game for the, for the fun of the sport, and uh, getting to be recognized as one of the best in the state is uh, it's just tremendous. And your fellow Choctaw County native, Ricky Black, is right over there. What's it like for two guys from uh, Choctaw County to go in in the same year? You know, that's, that's special, especially, you know, no bigger than Choctaw County is as far as people. You know, same thing. When I went to Ware High School, you know, we had an NFL football player and a Major League Baseball player in the same girl class out of 30 students. That's hard to do. You know, that's the guys that, you know, went to school with 500 people in each class and, and didn't get a chance to, um, you know, play with a, a professional player. But, you know, Choctaw County – where I grew up, it's still home, and um, even though I live in Starfall, you know, every time you go back to Choctaw, it just seems like home.